Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are um, looking at a problem that asks us about area and perimeter. We've got a couple composite shapes here. Uh, so we'll go through and review some of the formulas for finding area and methods for finding perimeter and uh, go from there. So this is a problem that I'm taking from CPM's uh, course three. So CC3, and this is from section um, four, Point one point six number 4-62 specifically. So it says, find the area and perimeter of each shape. Show your work. So for the first one, looks like we've got this composite figure of a bunch of rectangles, right? So when we think about how to find the area, there's a couple things you could do. You could actually look at the this large, like if I were to connect, draw here and here and connect that and then connect that, I have this large rectangle and then I could subtract the two smaller. Right? That's one way to find area. The other way would be to cut it up inside and have the different um, figures inside. So I'm going to do it that way. And I, and I look, I like to use as least amount of cuts as possible. So I'm going to go this direction and I'm going to draw kind of a dash line there. So I have this long rectangle this way. And then if I take this one and do the same thing this direction, then I have a long rectangle that way. Right. So I have one, two, three different spaces that I need to find the area for. So remember defining area of a rectangle. So area of a rectangle uh, is, is your uh, length times your width or base times height. However you want to, same thing, length times the width, right? Or base times height. So here we have this width of 2, the length of 12. So 2 times 12, that gives me this rectangle has an area of 24 and it's centimeters squared as our unit. We're always dealing with squared units when we talk about area. So this one here inside, change colors here. So I can see that that length is five. So therefore this over here is also five, right? It's a rectangle. Opposite sides are equal. And then now I've got to figure out what is, what is this space? Well, if I look and see that this from here to here is nine, right? And from here to here, we can see is three. Because why? Why do I know that? Because this little space outside is also a rectangle if I were to connect it here. And so opposite sides are the same. So that's three. So therefore, if that's nine and that's three, then this has to be six. Look, look at it that way. So I can say then my area inside is five times six, which is 30 centimeters squared. So that's the area of that middle rectangle. Then how do I find the area of this one? Well, uh, let's see if I know, I know it's, it's from here to here is seven, right? It says from there to there is seven. So that's seven. Uh, so how do I find that space? Well, I know from here to here is five. And then the rest of the way would be what then? The rest has to be two, five plus two, right? Five and two make that full seven length because that has to be the same as from here down all the way down, right? So that's going to be two centimeters over here. So now I have a width of two and a length of nine. So two times nine is 18. So this is 18 centimeters squared. So my area then, so this is me showing my work. Area is going to be total area, right? Because that's what I need to find now. I found all my three pieces. So total area is that 24 plus 30 plus 18. And all that up adds up to be, let's see, 72. And so it's 72 centimeters squared. So that's the area for my composite figure. Now, perimeter, perimeter is just add all the sides, right? So we need to go around and add all of the sides. So I've got some sides I still need to figure out, right? It's just the, if I were to walk, start here and make my walk around, I'd walk seven. Then I walk from here to here and I got, so I got to figure that out. So for my perimeter, I'll, I'll make my notes. Perimeter, I'll, I'll start walking here and walking around. So I'm going to go seven plus what? Well, from here to here, let's see, what would that be? Well, I know this from here to here is nine down here and up here all the way is 12, right? So I've got, if you look at the parallel lines, these are, uh, lined up with each other, that nine centimeters all the way over would be nine. So therefore that little remainder would be three. So this is also then going to be three. Okay. So I go seven plus three plus two, right? Plus 12. I'm just walking around the perimeter. Perimeter is length. 
It's the distance around the figure. Then plus two, then plus three. I'm going this way, right? I'm not going on the inside. These lines that I drew for area, I, I don't need those, just the outside, right? So I'm just walking around. There's my 12 plus two, which I have, plus three. Then down this way would be plus five. Then over here, I already figured that out earlier is plus three. Then I also figured this one out is plus two. And then the last stretch there is plus nine. So my total perimeter for this problem is just adding all those up. So quickly add those up. Let's see, 10, 12, 24, 26, uh, 29, 30, 31, 32, 37, 39, then 48. So I have 48 and, and perimeter is just length linear, right? So there's no squared, it's just centimeters. So 48 centimeters is that perimeter. Okay, so there's the area and perimeter of that composite figure. Now, part B, when I look at part B, this one, I'm just looking at really a circle. If I were to continue this, it would be a full circle, wouldn't it? But it's not, it's only a three fourths. It's cut out. If you look, there should be actually a, a 90 degree. If this is going to be true picture, we should have had a little 90 degree in there. So you can see that that's going to be a fourth of the uh, circle taken out. So this is three fourths of the circle. So if I can find the area, it's going to be three fourths of the area, right? And remember area of a circle. So we got a couple, couple rules we got to memorize here. Area of a circle in this is uh, always uh, the radius squared. So it's pi times the radius squared. That's the area of the circle. So my radius, it tells me, I, I believe that should be shifted over a little bit, but this from here to here is the four inches. Okay. And that also then means that that is the four inches because that's also a radius, but that's my radius is four. So I would say the area is equal to pi times four squared, which would be 16 pi. Now we could actually leave our answer in terms of pi, unless it was something we need to apply if we were trying to find the carpet or how to pay for the, the, the lawn or something. But 16 pi, area is 16 pi, and it would be, looks like inches squared. You can leave your answers in terms of pi because that's more exact. Or you can approximate. So we can say that that would be a good answer, 16 pi inches squared. Or if you were going to approximate, we'd say approximately. Remember the little wiggly equal signs is approximately, we would have to take and go 16 times. And in this case, let's use 3.14 to approximate. And that I would say would be best to use a calculator for, uh, in this case, 16 times 3.14. And you'd get approximately 50.24 uh, inches squared. So either answer is acceptable. Okay. So there's my area of that. Now, perimeter, perimeter in this case is really circumference, right? So what we're doing for perimeter is we're trying to figure out the distance from here to here, that circular part, then these two pieces. So we got to, we got to remember though, to find perimeter of a circle, it's really circumference, right? Circumference of a circle. And to find the circumference of a circle, it's pi times the diameter right? Pi times the diameter. So the diameter though would be the what? The diameter is the same thing as two times the radius, right? If I were to continue this over, it'd be twice the radius. So this, this circumference of this circle, the whole circle, if I were to find the entire circle, the circumference would be uh, two times four. So eight, that's the diameter is eight, eight pi. That's the just the circumference, right? But Oh, goodness. I made a mistake, didn't I? I got to back up. Um, you might have caught it and been like, whoa, whoa, stop, Mr. Dell. These are wrong answers, aren't they? Because I forgot this part. I gave you the area of the entire circle, not three-fourths of it. So that's that's my bad. So I need, to, I need to back up a little bit. I need to say that's not completely right yet, right? So let me, let me go down here. Area would be three-fourths times 16 pi, right? I've got to actually say three-fourths of the area, not the whole thing. I gave you the entire circle. Sorry about the 
that, but let's continue on. So three fourths times 16, right? You multiply three fourths times 16 and you're gonna get 12 pi. So 12 pi inches squared is one answer. All right, and then the other one would be to multiply uh, 12 times 3.4. 3.14, and it'd be 37. So you could say, or approximately 37.68 inches squared. So either answer, whether you say 12 pi inches squared or 37.68. So, so these were the whole circle, but got ahead of myself and forgot that I wasn't doing the whole circle. It was only three fourths of it. All right. Hopefully you caught that. All right. So why did I catch that? Cause I started doing circumference and realized, wait, this is the circumference of the whole circle. But remember all I need is three fourths of that. So I've got to figure out what is three fourths times eight pi, right? Cause I don't want the entire, I just want three fourths of it. So three fourths of that would be six. So it's six pi. And then I now, now I also need to add to it these pieces, right? So this whole from here, from here to here is six pi. So from there to there is six pi, but I need to also add eight. So it's six pi plus eight. This right here cannot be, if you're gonna leave your answer in terms of pi, that's the best you can do because it's only the six is being multiplied by the pi. You wouldn't say 14 because those don't add. It's six times pi plus eight. That's the circumference or the perimeter in terms of pi, but I'm running out of room. I'm gonna bring this down here, but I wanna talk about what the approximate is because that's a little bit interesting. That doesn't, that, that I need to do the multiplication here on this case. So um, six times 3.14 plus eight. So there, it would be approximately 26.84. And again, we're talking about linear distance, right? Just walking, in around would be in inches, not inches squared. So this is the perimeter of the actual three quarter circle. So perimeter area of that. All right, there you go.